We are back, and I took off my sweatshirt. <laughs> and hey, I didn't want to take off the sweatshirt to show up my nice cut-off Pac-Man shirt, but I mean, it's hot in here, and you know, yes, I didn't you want did. to... <laughs> you did want to do that. That's... No, I didn't. I really didn't. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to discuss something that um, happened last week. Nintendo um, is not liking how their swap note system is being utilized by the fans out there and, and, the, and the gamers. And they're basically their user base. They're not really happy with it being used for, I guess, naughty messages, things like that. So, Ian... Mm, you, you... Okay, what actually <laughs> happened was is it was... Uh, so, Nintendo shut down swap note. They shut down swap note because in Japan, there was two guys who had befriended two girls and were young girls who were using it for, uh, uh, you know... Um, child pornography and nintendo uh quickly dropped the hammer on that and uh cut swap note uh the problem with the situation and there's a lot of people who are upset that nintendo cut it yeah. um the problem is is i can this is one of the situations where i can clearly see both sides of the coin um i am Going into the holiday season, the last thing Nintendo wants their flagship product, their 3DS to be associated with, is the sending of dick pics. Okay? <laughs> the way to put it subtly, but yes, that's what they're, that, that, they're that, afraid of. That, that, that's what they're afraid of. They, yes. they, I mean, I mean, is, as much as Nintendo is, for all ages and all generations, uh, it, it does have a... It is considered still to be a very child-friendly device, uh, or a child-friendly company that sells child-friendly devices with a lot of games that are challenging for young and old. You know, uh, so they, they they want this to still be something that parents feel comfortable getting their children. Thing is, is kids have computers and kids have iPhones and kids have all sorts of crap. The the, the you know uh, that 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 ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen year olds have, and Nintendo doesn't get. The internet. You can take away swap note. This this sort of thing is still going to happen. Nintendo has one of the most. Uh, it's still a, a very rigid plan in place for how you can communicate with someone using a thing like swap note. So you don't know what swap note is. No, I don't. Okay, so this is what, this is what it is. <laughs> okay. You turn on your 3ds uh -huh. and. It's very cool. You have a friends list, and you can open up the swap note program, and you can draw a four panel comic, write, take pictures, whatever, and send it off to any of your friends. Okay? Oh. The thing is, to get someone on your friends list using a 3DS, it can't, you can't just send it to a random person. You have to add a person's friend code, and they have to add yours. Okay. When a person adds your friend code, say someone gets your friend code off the internet randomly, right, and adds it, it does not send a message to that person's 3DS saying, this person has added you as a friend. I could put my friend code up on Twitter right now, and 50 people could add me, and I wouldn't know it until I got one of their friend codes and added it, and if we both had each other's codes in the system, boom, we'd both appear on each other's 3DS. So that's a fairly secure system. So for... Okay. It's almost like it's almost like uh, Facebook. You have to accept the person once you say oh, add me. You have to actually accept. Yeah, it but now. even tighter because because Facebook now allows allows for following. Correct. You have to both accept, and it's not like there's multiple levels of privacy here. They both have to do it. So I I don't want to say that you know parenting is to blame, but all I'm trying to say is Nintendo. I feel like to a degree is, is over. They, they've done what they should do. Like if you want to keep kids safe using your products, you've done it. If somehow these kids are exchanging their friend codes with other old men, and these things are happening, there's there's a greater problem here than swap note, is all I'm trying to say. Well, yeah, well, it comes down to N Nintendo is trying to protect their consumers and knows what's, be I guess, best for them. They, 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 they want, Nintendo's always been about controlling their product. Always going back to the NES era when you came and have freaking crosses on tombstones and ducktails. Yeah. So they're always about they think what they know is best for their consumer base. Right or wrong, that's always been their stance. So they're seeing this as, wow, this is being used for some nefarious shit that we don't even want to be connected with. So my question to you is this: Do they have the right to do that? Do they have the right to to police their product and shut it down if it gets to a point where they think it's being misused? Oh yeah, absolutely. I just I feel like. My problem with I, I like Nintendo. I don't like Nintendo looking bad, and I feel like this is a situation where they risk 
scorning some people if they don't do something, and they risk pissing people off if they do something. And I feel like at this point, this isn't 96. The internet isn't new. It's not a boogeyman in a closet. I I feel like most people know what the risks associated with using something connected with the internet are. Sure. So I I feel like a lot of people who are looking at it's not that they're overreacting it's 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 a serious problem that occurred it's but you don't have to take down a service I I don't necessarily know that but how you have, how could you police it then I mean how I feel like they have and since it's already linked to friend codes they can they can they can ban I don't know that you can I mean uh, people should be it, it, it's it's well like you said it's like Facebook I, I feel like to a degree you have to police it yourself they've already put so many stops in there that I mean to get to that point I feel like is pretty difficult but at least on facebook you're not supposed to be able to to use facebook at least you're at least 13 to create a profile obviously you can lie and do that and if you're a good parent you can track that there's probably parents have no idea this thing exists they buy their kid a 3ds here have a blast they probably have no idea no and and that's true and i mean kids don't necessarily know you i mean they're still learning they don't know you know okay i shouldn't give my friend code to this person but i don't know it's it's a shame that they had to take it down it's it's a shame what happened um, it's not a program that I use, so I'm not even uh, coming from a, a place of, uh, of I miss using it because I can't draw worth a damn, so I didn't <laughs> use it. But, you know, it's, I, I wish there was a better solution in place. And it, it's upsetting some people because they were supposed to bring, people were looking forward to Flipnote, which they started on the DSi, which is like a, a Flipnote, it's an animation program. Um, and they were going to bring that over for free from Japan, but in Japan they suspended that as well, and they're not bringing it to the U.S. So Nintendo's really cracking down. They're in full-on panic mode, and they're basically just shutting down all of that online so, interactivity. So it's a few bad eggs spoiling it for everyone else, basically. Right. And, I don't know, People, there are people out there who are holding their breath and thinking Nintendo will reinstate it, but kind of like you said, looking at Nintendo's How, history... Why would they? No, I, I think it's, it's probably done. I think it's probably it's done. It's too much of a risk, and unless they're going to go all... You know, um, NSA on you, and then like peek in on what you're doing. Then what you don't want Nintendo doing that anyway. You don't want them to, to really monitor that to that level. So it sounds like it's it's a fun, cool thing, but it's not essential to the 3ds experience. Well, so some, some people, like, like I said, for some people it was. There are people out there who I mean used it a ton. Um, I understand where Nintendo's coming from. They want to protect their image and they want to make sure that doesn't happen again. It's a shame that it got to that point. It's also a shame because the first time you ever turn on Swap Note, the little her name was Nikki, the little swap note icon. Draws you a little picture about how you should never use it to make anyone feel uncomfortable. Oh. And everyone apparently so, did. These freaking pedophiles ruining it for everyone. Yes. 